Hi, I'm Otto, and I'm going to show you how to enroll Windows devices to Mirador Online. If you're enrolling the device that you're currently using, the easiest way to enroll it is to use the Enroll Device in the left side menu under Enrollment. Then you need to select the device type, which is Windows in this case. Then you need to type in the email address of the end user of the device. And in this case, it's me, so it's directly there. And then I will just click this Send Enrollment Invitation button. So it will also send me the same information in an email that I'm currently seeing already on the screen. And as I'm enrolling this device, I will just click here. So that's the first step. There's also then instructions on how to do it if, if you're enrolling another device. So how to get to this set up a work or school account view in Windows. So it's in the settings. I will show that later on another device. But now I just need to copy the enrollment username. and paste it here and then click next then there's also a field for domain slash username it's not needed so we can skip that and then we just need the enrollment password so let's copy paste that as well and then click next And this will actually take some time, especially if the device is not the fastest one. I'm currently using a virtual machine here, so it will most probably take some time. Actually, this time it went very fast, so it's already enrolled. And it's just saying where I can forcefully do the syncing from this device side. It will most probably take some time before that device appears to the Mirado online user interface. So actually, I'm next going to show you how to enroll the another device. Uh, of course, I could do it the same way as I did this one. And then I would be just typing the enrollment username and enrollment password to another device. Uh, one another way of doing it is going to the users view under company. And this is the view where you can import your users either from CSV or AD or somewhere. And then you could, for example, select all of your users. And this time I'm going to enroll Rachel's device. So I will select her user account here. And then under enrollment, I could send the enrollment message directly to her email. And she could then click from the email and enroll this device. And it would take her to the same place that I went directly from the enroll device. Or uh, as in this case, I'm going to do the enrollment for her. So I can just create enrollment credentials, which will actually be visible in this user interface. I could also define some tags for the device that I'm enrolling and those tags could be then directly uh, linked to a policy which will then force some software installations or configurations. I'm skipping that part now and just creating the enrollment credentials which are now visible. And I have the other uh, device here. So where I just need to go is the start menu and then this one here is the settings. I could also type in settings and it would show in the search. And then in here, I will need to go to accounts. And then on the left side menu, there's access work or school. And then depending on the size of the window, uh, the correct link could be down here or then actually in my case it seems to be on this right side menu now so it's this enroll only in device management that you need to click and i will also click it now 
And basically it takes me to the same view that I showed previously from, from my own device here. So now I just again need the enrollment username, which is this one. And then click next. And again, we can leave the domain slash username empty and then just copy the password. And next. And again, this might take a while. And actually it went rather fast, so it's now done. And you can also see here connected to Mirado MDM. And from the enrollment log, we can see how the enrollments have proceeded. Actually the previous one is already showing the device model. So these are both virtual machines. And the second one is so uh, frequent enrollment that it's not yet showing the device here. But for the previous one, I can already double click on this enrollment and see the device itself. And the device is, is here visible. And there are also other ways of doing the enrollment for Windows devices. And the automatic way is, especially for the new devices, using the Azure AD enrollment, which basically means that the new, new, new user just logs on to his or her new device using the Azure AD account, and then it's automatically enrolled. There will be another video about that. Now you have seen how to do the enrollment the manual way, so thank you and bye for now.